in your heart? Don't you feel that you're here to change people's lives? Really, like sink into that. Because as entrepreneurs, we are cut from a different cloth. We're not like everybody else. We're not here to clock in and clock out and do the nine to five thing and really just like count the minutes, right? You put your whole heart into everything that you do. And this is about sharing the brownies. You've heard me talk about sharing the brownies before. Sharing the brownies meaning you're in your kitchen and you're baking up a tray of brownies and you have friends and family in the other room and they start smelling the ooey gooey chocolatey aroma of brownies coming out of your kitchen. And when they ask, you say, oh, no, 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 no. You go back there. I'm busy in here. And you pull the brownies out of the oven, you cut them up, you put them on a tray, and you eat them all by yourself. What happens to you when you eat all your brownies by yourself? <laughs> you get sick, right? But what does it say about you? You've got friends and family who want your brownies. What does it say about you? You're selfish. You're stingy. You're greedy. Right? And I look at, I equate this to being the same as what you do in your life and in your business. Right? You were given these skills and you were given these talents and you have these innate abilities. The ones you don't necessarily recognize because you take them for granted. Raise your hand if you've ever taken something for granted. Yeah, because you do it so well all day long. You were given all that and your life experiences the good ones and the not so good ones, you know what I mean? Right? You were given that and it is who you are today. And that is to be of service to others with what you know, right? Once you've become who you are today, it's your duty to go serve other people. And you know these dip, this deep in your heart, but not just to serve a couple people, it's your duty to play a much bigger game because your clients can't sleep without you. Imagine that at 3 o'clock last night, Saturday night, there is somebody lying in bed, tossing and turning, covered in sweat, not knowing what to do about their problem. They're in angst. And yes, even if you're a florist, yes. And you, and you think th that you're not here to change people's lives. You actually very much are. It doesn't matter what you do. You are here to solve people's problems, to be of service. Yes? Yeah. Yes? OK. By the way, this is not television. I'm right here. <laughs> and, and I like recognition. I'm a Leo. So I really like recognition, and I like woohoos, and I like you know all that stuff. So just engage with me, okay? Because we're going to be here for three days. <laughs> it's a lot less boring if you engage with me. And so imagine that your your clients, that client last night, is waiting for a solution to their problem, and only you have the solution to that problem, in the way that they can receive it. Yes, there are others doing what you do. But there's only one you who can offer this the way that you offer it. And so it's your duty to get out there in a big way and offer what you offer.